Alright, up against Birdo. Not fix the Sun team. This is pretty much the same team I fought before. Maybe worse. <laughs> Leading up with Torkoal anyway. Um, because, this, like, Rotom is the switch in and it's going to work. But I can definitely take it on. Just damn shame. Uh, oh, leads up with Infernape. Um, that's way better. Let's see how long my battery holds out. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it's. I got the hint that just maybe I should consider switching <laughs> controls. Alright, so his best play is either U-turn or straight off close combat. Or he can just U-turn to Rotom, which definitely works. Stealth Rocks, right? This is the second time I see this. Like, we've seen more and more defensive um, Inferno Apes with Slack Off and Stealth Rocks. Definitely Stealth Rocks. Unfortunately for my opponent, um, I got Rapid Spin. I have yet to see it in carry Earthquake though. Usually, like, we've seen a combination of Flare Blitz, Earthquake, or Close Combat. Earthquake kind of solves more when you're defensive. But that's really about it. So let's see what he decides to do. As, um... This is not a matchup I necessarily win. I can't Quake on it, but I definitely shouldn't. Right, two turn rounds, that's fair. And I go in to show that I am the wrong item. It's going to be nasty. Um, Road Charm, yeah, that's fair. Yes. And it just keeps on adding. Wow. All right, that was a, wow, that did a lot. That's not supposed to do that. But he is defensive, so it's weird that it does so much. Alright. Gotta fix that item for the next recording. Um, would he Volt Switch on me? Really, it doesn't matter what he does, as both Hydro Pump and Volt Switch are terrible. The funner way would be the worst, if I had to pick. Yeah, Volt Switch, it's fine, it hurts, but it's fine. That should be followed up with Amival, right? He does think though, which I like. I do feel that opportunities of using moves such as Growth are are kind of tough, so Victory Bell I probably will really consider using Strength Sap over Growth. More because, like I said, the sweep opportunities are kind of tough. Yes, one Growth would probably make me sweep most teams. Ooh. Ooh. I still got the Sun, right? Yeah, I'm doing this. He could be Choice Bandit, Bullet Punch, and if so, fine. But if not, then... <laughs> Dude, dude, just got the worst. Piss off, man. <laughs> oh, oh, and the sunlight will fade. <laughs> right? Or do I have one more turn in me? <laughs> Unlimited powers. <sighs> He's going to take a few hits here. Now, do I want to sack this guy and just go for a really nasty sludge bomb? No, I go into Desotroya because I really want to have another round at this. And if it goes for Stealth Rock, so be it. Do I think a well-placed Flare Blitz makes more sense? Oh, that's nasty. That's a good play. Good boy. Brings the Rotom back and it clearly makes sense too because I definitely would fall. To, um, to a possible U-turn. I do not like this guy at all. He showed me leftovers. But we're still not under Sun. If Sun was active, I'd probably go for it. But I think his spinner is out, which helps. But, like I said, Rotom is... mildly annoying for me. 
Yeah, Agupara. The world tortoise. Let's tortoise, tortoise, toys. No, I have no idea. Blast toys, tor toys. Right? Yeah, I am butchering that way more than I need to. Uh, but yeah, more sun because why not? And hydro pump is gonna sting but not kill. Probably gonna do a whole lot anyway. Eee. Yeah, that's not pretty. <laughs> but we can take another. Not that I wanna invite such a play, but rather the possibilities are there. Now oh, they're there. Now I could bring Undyne and try to soak a hit because everything else doesn't want to soak it. N not that um, my shards are will, but it's a play. I don't want to pressure, pressure Victory Bell more than I need to. And he could miss the Hydro Pump, right? Absolute mad lad. Wow, that stings. Oh, good play, boy. I mean, shards are getting the, like, pretty... Pretty nasty hand. Honestly, this is like the second time I use it, and both times it's just been people getting to play right. Um, now here's the thing, Infernape do outspeed. But it can't U-turn out, it's forced to stay in, which works for me. And meanwhile, is unfortunately not what I wanted to see. Pressure? Sure. Solar power? Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we sack here. Nothing to it. Um, don't see a life orb. Lower plume will definitely sting, which is something I kind of, um, kind of want to go for. Basically, want to force the switch, really. Um, I think Rhyperia would be a smarter play, but it wouldn't help, like a lot, besides getting him hurt. I have a few switch in and out opportunities. I just can't remember all the mons. That's you know, as always, like you want to take a picture of the team before you start off. You also don't want to use shards anymore, but that that's another thing. Rona's gonna come mad, gonna get hurt even more. And now with Lava Plume, our opportunity of getting him burned, which is definitely something I want to kind of shut down the... Um, the Life Orb shenanigans. He took that really well. Or not Life Orb, I mean Leftovers. Um, because this mon has only so many opportunities of actually coming back in. While Torkoal has uh, honestly a few good options, though, though, my biggest question is how do I switch in and out here without ruining myself? I can never take another another hydro pump. They can always miss. Let's keep going for that. Yo, oh, that kind of works. That's kind of works. Don't know why I did that though. The Infernape should be the one that's coming in on this. Or Salamence. You know, that's a thing. Not forgotten that mod at all. Now, if we can get him burned, that would be nice. Negate any type of progress would be incredible here. Burn him. Those further percentages is an absolute lie. <laughs> Alright, question is whether he Dragon Dance or not. If he Dragon Dance, then you know it's an uphill battle. But I'm definitely not staying in. I need two Dragon Dances to kill me. Or to to uh, screw Victory Bell off. Earthquakes, yeah, that's gonna sting, but... It did way too much. Is that banded? It has to be. Huh. 
At least he didn't dance. But that makes me well being able to pretty much kill the whole team though. I have nothing yet left for me well. Wow, that did a lot. I'm impressed. But like I said, he has to be banded. Oh, this control too? Yeah, take it out. Take it all while you're at it. Um, if you can switch moves, then that's going to be um, incredibly unfortunate, but I'm definitely sure it's... Um, oof. Now, if we can... We gotta kill him from here. We gotta kill him. There is no way you take this. I know I said that before, but... I mean, come on. Griplim. Yes! Piss ass. <laughs> so Meanwhile does not win the game right now, which works for me. Now I just need to dent Infernape somehow. <laughs> Everything else I think is in range. And consider he was somewhat defensive. If he's defensive speedy, then that's gonna suck for me. I'm taking a risk here. Yeah, he is speedy. Speedy defensive absolutely ruins me. Not that Rifblim would have, with the remaining mods, be able to do anything anyway, but still, that kinda sucks. Not what I want to see, at least. Right? Right. Now I can spam Psychic, though, which is definitely something we're, we were looking for. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. I mean, there is no way Infernum comes in on this. This is your sack play, man. This is it. All your planning stops here. I just can't remember the last one. He has four mods left. Fernape, Salamence, this guy, and something else. I feel if you guys watching, you're like, yeah, you got that mod to pray for, man. You you should have kept that in mind. He's got a counterplay that will absolutely eat your life. And I'm like, sure, sure, I'm totally in there. But he is thinking so much about it, so I don't believe he got an ace up his sleeve. Not like me, I got an ace off. Yeah, you sacked this boy. You're done! You're done! I just don't know what to do against the Salamence because... Or rather, if Salamence comes in, I clearly switch in Torkoal. Brings in Infernape. No way is this Scarfed. No way is it Scarf, there is... I'm, I'm just not accepting that. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Show him what we got. Your turns. It's gotta be. It gotta be Scarf, right? And if so, then what, what is what is stopping it anyway? But Scarf Stealth Rock would be such a play. I don't know. I'm a bit worried, honestly. At least the King is, or the Salamence can't win as long as I got Sun, which is great. But it makes it hard for both me and my opponent to play because, well, you know, what we got against one another, really. But I'm starting to think it is a Scarfed Infernape, and if so, I'm not sure I outspeed it anyway. And I need my Torkoal to be at good HP every time. Let's see, yeah, Togekiss was a money ad. I knew that. And it's a Leftovers variant.
Well, it looks like the end of the road for Hyperior at least. There is just no going about it. I'm just thinking. Yeah, I know, I know. I know the battery is down. I'll take my chances. I was actually thinking before recording, it was a long time since I was recording these controls, wasn't it? And now, and now it's like, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. All right. Any play he does here will make sense. Dazzling Leam. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Such a such an awful situation, but I mean, he's forcing my hand, which works. By the way, I'm not sure that would have killed, but I'm not sure I kill a return either. I guess that makes sense. Yep, yeah, sludge bombing. He gotta sack this bomb pretty much. Or if he sacks his salamence. This is turning close. As of this, as of right now, I'm kind of, um, I'm good or weird, uh, anyway, or however this game ends, I'm kind of like, I did, I think, good enough to where I don't, uh, I'm not too disappointed of losing. But damn, this game got pretty darn close. And like I said, if this is a Scarf Team Furning, I'm pretty sure I don't outspeed it. The only positive part that happened here is that it got a lot of damage onto it. But I gotta take this risk. And pretty much let him win, I'm sure. Come on, Marifleur! Yes! 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 You had no chance, piece of monkey bitch! Yes! Mmm! They don't call it the victory bell for nothing! They just, they don't! They just, they don't! You hear me? You fucking hear me? <laughs> yes! Ha <laughs> Stand it all, you piss off! And there we go! That's how you win the game with the Sun Team! Thank you, Berto! <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this game. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care of one right. Bye.